Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Welcome to Otaku. Chris is talking. This is your weekly book on here at Academia Manga Review for Chapter 141. Now, if you're new to my channel, I make regular book on here Academia Manga Reviews as well as sometimes reactions. Um, if I have the time for it, if I'm off, all that kind of good stuff, as well as other manga otaku movie kind of stuff as well. So I feel that you may enjoy it. If you enjoy this review, please do subscribe. Um, and then hopefully you may enjoy the future videos I make. So let's get into it. Now, this chapter continues on from where we were left off two weeks ago now i don't remember a chapter being out last week that's why there was no review if there was one i am so freaking sorry and it means that there's a secret extra chapter so extra hype um yeah i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about all right so this chapter basically continues off west with sun eater versus three of the century hounds of hell of the Century Hounds, Overhaul's Century Hounds, Overhaul's Lackeys, Overhaul's Pawns, basically. And uh, I, I had extreme death flags in the most recent chapter. For the past two chapters, I've had extreme death flags. And then Miro disappeared. And then I was like, Miro is going to probably die. But then how um, Sunny was going on in the last chapter, I was like, come on, man. How is this guy actually even at the top if he's so nervous? Like, literally, how is he supposed to be a hero if the person... Imagine you're, imagine you're in danger and, like, you have no hope you're feeling very worried you're like how the fuck am i going to get out of the situation whatever the situation is and then the hero that comes and gets you is all there kind of mumbling to himself and wondering if he can do it i'd be like you know what bro don't worry bro i'll do it myself i'd i'll figure out a way it's cool just do what you gotta do ain't that right saitama you hear it for hire for fun what, is, what the fuck is it anyways I digress. So, um, when this chapter happened, I was like, I liked that the end of the last chapter, he looked like he was ready to just fucking go in. And, and he kind of does at first. At first, you see him use his ability to basically kind of like uh, manipulate and kind of go into more depth with his ability. So, I took a couple of notes. So, he unlocked size variability, multiple simultaneous activa activation, as well as free selection of specific attributes. And then he, you, he called that the synthesis of size sundry or special attack chimera kraken and i thought that looked pretty hella awesome now this chapter was pretty sick because the manga of the series he, he he showed amazing detail in the art for the um action scenes and i thought that was really 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 nice especially like different scenes when like sunny it was punching them or when he was sunny it was getting eaten <laughs> no by um tabe and Oh, alright, so the three villains that we get, I know I'm going all over the place, but for you guys who've been following me since I've started, y'all know I do what I want. <laughs> so now, the three villains that we get, they're, they're, they're quite unique and they kind of work well together. It makes sense that they would have been left to fend off uh, any of the villains who are there. Uh, also, I want to say, if the video has frozen right now, my major apologies. Oh, it's back. So if it did freeze, I'm sorry, but in post-production, hopefully it doesn't freeze. Yeah, so the three villains that we have, they work extremely well together. Tabe, he's able to devour anything instantaneously, as well as his has a his he can instantly digest what he eats as well. So imagine you can eat anything and you can digest anything. So if the person you're going against is a person who can turn into anything he's eaten, it's kind of like, I I get it. You're okay, cool. That's pretty cool. That's that's pretty awesome. But they're kind of like the opposite sides of the coin. So it's like, oh, okay, you can eat anything you. You can you can eat anything. <laughs> okay, so can I. <laughs> I know, but you can literally eat anything and you can digest anything, probably metals and whatnot. Whereas in like Sunny is abilities, he can become anything that he ate. So like or any creature that he ate and he can use that ability and use specific parts. What's awesome is like the fact that he can literally use individual parts like okay cool i'm going to use the this of a of a crab and the this of the this and the shell of the this and for that making literally uh, i don't know if you guys have seen jojo you know if you've seen jojo then you know this is a jojo reference yeah <laughs> that was a dab that wasn't a jojo reference what the fuck am i doing i'm too cool side i'm too cool i put a hat on my head i'm too cool <laughs> so hot out here and this hat is so tight what am i doing in my life anyways so if you didn't um, know Jojo, you guys would know about cars uh, with a K and it's a guy. It's not a car, it's not a vehicle. But he's one of the main bad guys of season two and he basically has this ability and he's one of the main bad guys. But cars did do it in a quite better form. So I wonder if... 
Sunny vs Cars. Yo, here you go. For you guys who've seen um, JoJo, Sunny vs Cars from JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Who would win? My money's on Cars because Cars was a bad man G. Um, but Sunny, it uh, looks like he's amazing and like his potential is great. But he needs to, his confidence needs needs to fucking get stronger because it's like, dude, your ability, your power, your potential is through the fucking roof. And then there's you bloody worrying and caring about like oh my god uh, can i do it should i do it but and 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 the fact that it needed three villains who had no hope in life to, to show that they could work together through their friendship is what basically reminded um sunny of the fact of oh yeah like mirio like i have friends i want to fight for too camaraderie friendship fairy tale <laughs> oh man this is a uh... This, this is this is what you get in the reviews. You just get me waffling, waffling, waffling. But yeah, earlier before I went on a tangent, I also mentioned the fact that the, those three villains worked well together, partially because one of the villains he's able to digest anything, the other guy he's able to steal anything, kind of like bans a, a magical ability from <laughs> Seven Deadly Sins. Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, okay. If you're uh, for my reviews of Seven Deadly Sins, I apologize. I've been very ill for the past four or five days. That's why the last video I've made was One Piece, and that hurts my soul as well. So there we go. Hopefully that was a sincere enough apology for not making um, the past few videos. But yeah, <coughs> I was sick. So. And then the other guy is able to like, was it hardling or something like that? He's able to make crystallization or some some, some next shit, I don't know, some Pokemon type of shit. But um, that was the most random, but the crystals that he made seemed to be extremely hard and were able to kind of take down or go past the, def the defenses of Sun Eater. So together, a guy can steal b like body parts from Sun Eater, a guy who can basically defend himself like, like literally from any attacks and a guy who can eat Sun Eater. So that's like extremely bad matchup but hey i really like that by the end of the chapter you really get to see him go in and he's like yeah i can do this and like yeah personally we needed this chapter but the what death flag is still waving about still waving about and the sheer fact that there's a color spread next week is going to be either a a color spread of darkness because Bokken Hero academia is just a really dark series but with a shonen main character plastered on the front um but i'm really excited for that i really can't wait what was your favorite part of this chapter um who do you think will win between cars and sunny uh who's your favorite villain out of the three um do you like the fact that they were able to sync together even though they were literally useless and also i find it interesting that the follow the following overhaul out of just the sheer fact that they want to almost like if they're being brainwashed do you think they're being brainwashed? Do you think one of the villains out there has the ability to brainwash them or nah? So that's about that. So this is a pretty much an action, sorry, a very action-based chapter. Um, I can't wait for this to be animated because Studio Bones are awesome, unlike Toei calling our names. Ain't that right, Saitama? Oh, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait. No, no. Saitama's part of Madhouse, all right? So, so yeah, so sorry, Zoro. Toei, toei, toei. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Sorry I'm a random little fuck, but hey. Um, does it really? Otaka Chris is talking.